quite yet. All right, so it is indeed loser quarters. And I know that it's Ace of Flakes on one side. I haven't been here for a while. So for the moment, Polish. Polish is the person that actually knocked Smash God into losers today. <laughs> so Polish, you know, kind of staying on that top platform, not wanting to really get touched by Jigglypuff. Obviously, you never want to get hit, but Jigglypuff, you know, just makes such quick work of space animals and great downers coming in right now from Polish, knowing exactly what move he wants to hit with and how to do it. Ace of Flakes, you know, trying to play around that down air that would seem to be so potent moment, a moment ago. Taking his time, does get another hit in. And the F Smash coming in from Polish right there. Great fake out. Ace of Flakes thought he had an opening. The F Smash was right there to meet him. And stock number one just kind of goes away oh so quickly. Wave dash aim back. And Polish taking his time again, you know, throwing out so many safe aerials that Ace of Flakes is just having trouble kind of getting around. Oh, that could have been big if you would have got that grab. We could have potentially have seen an Edgard attempt. And we might be getting it now. One more, and he does get it. Great stuff coming in from Ace of Flakes. Tying it right back up. Only down 35%, which is really not that big of a deal when you're fighting someone that gets Edgard as easily as a space animal. Forward air does come in again. All right, but that up air, Polish not able to get anything else afterwards. Great, um, just DI from Ace of Flakes, kind of avoiding any setups afterwards. Ace of Flakes off stage, and Polish is not, you know, taking that chance at all. He says, "I'm not even going to attempt to edgeguard you. I don't want to potentially lose my stock for a poor decision." You know, just great patience coming in from him, kind of showing that he's played this before and he has great composure all around. Polish using those lasers so well, and that was so slick, kind of reminiscent of stock number one. Throwing out one attack, but not really meant to hit his opponent. Just kind of to fake him out to get the next one to connect with that stock. And the shine to down air is just all over Ace of Flakes. He's looking for, he's trying to find an answer, and just Polish is relentless right now. Everything is going his way. He's here to grab after and just... He's making it look like one of the best moves in the game, but he plays with fire. He gets burned. Ace of Flakes going to rest out of shield. Says, don't disrespect me. Keep it honest or you're going to lose your stock. And Polish immediately slowing down the play, but that back air does connect. Ace of Flakes cannot get hit by another one of the stock will be gone. Fighting his way on stage, trying, and he just cannot get his footing. Polish just controlling the stage between tilts and lasers, doing a phenomenal job at the moment. The F tilt, not gonna do it quite yet, but 146 and counting. Polish is just looking like an impenetrable wall at the moment, but that grounded laser cost him stage position. This might have been the opening Ace of Flakes needed. Biding his time, looking for that one forward air, that up air, that grab. Any of those can connect, but Polish finds that back air first, and he will take the stock along with the full stock lead. Ooh, beautiful the way he danced over that down air, the shine right after, you know, and just immediately back to the platform to stay alive. Ooh, getting a sweet little combo coming in right there. Ending it a bit early, but you know, just again, Polish just kind of looking very well first when it comes to this matchup. You know, between the lasers and the tilts and the down airs, you know, he has a solid game plan. And he um, kind of looks like designed to pick apart Jigglypuff. And Ace of Flakes is really going to have to find a solution. Otherwise, he's going to be in for Rude Awakening because it was only getting worse the way Polish was playing. But, you know, maybe Fountain of Dreams will aid Ace of Flakes in getting a victory, making it closer. Um, it definitely will make it a little bit harder for Polish to kind of control the stage as much because of the fact that those platforms do move. We'll make him lose some of that positioning that he did have before. And already, Ace of Flakes looking better. It is just the start, but he did have a lead even if it was only for a second. Trying to fish for that grab, but you know, Polish just being so evasive. And that might be it. Ace of Flakes does take stock number one, only at 31%. Not gonna lose his stock. Took a lot of damage, but you know, he is still alive and that's what matters at the end of the day for him. But Polish trying to make it very short-lived. He's going to look for this down air, I think. Ops not to, just backs up, keeps stage control, applies that pressure as soon as Ace of Flakes touches that ground. Trying to crop cancel, looking for anything unsafe by Ace of Flakes. 
Ace not gonna do it though. And somehow the Firefox straight up makes Ace of Flakes into a false sense of security. Stock is gone with that back air. And you know, Polish has been doing that a lot, getting those stocks um, just purely off of kind of baiting out Ace of Flakes to do something, to try to go for a punish that isn't actually there. I'm not sure if these two play a lot or if it's just kind of a, he understands what Jigglypuffs want to go for and that's why he's throwing out some of these options. It's really difficult to say at the moment. Oh, that was so nice. Got that shine. Not able to connect right afterwards though. Again, the down air in. Polis is all over this Jigglypuff. Can she make it back? Grabs the ledge last second. Ace of Flakes tries to get up there, not quite able to. But you know, he did everything he could in his power. Great air dodge attempt at the end. Just wasn't quite enough to get up there. And Ace of Flakes almost had the rest again. Polis just shining out to avoid that stock loss. And very interesting, you know, Polis seeing the situation, opting to do nothing. And because of it, Ace of Flakes got the free up air. Butch was better than the Tech Cage re um, rest, though. Polish just dancing all around Ace of Flakes at the moment. Going for that laser F smash. Was not able to connect it. And, you know, Ace of Flakes needing to just, you know, get something going. Needs to get on the ground, even if it is for a moment. Maybe try to tilt the shield up and punish the Falco's pillar that way. Um, but currently can't stay that stationary and you have to find a solution somehow because currently Polis is using down air and it's just going unpunished time and time again does not get the edge guard so unfortunate for Ace of Flakes definitely needed something and again the air dodge coming in you know Jigglypuff looking uh, slightly flustered at the moment um, I mean he's in top five for a reason I'm sure these are punishes that he generally gets but you know Polis applying so much pressure that Ace of Flakes just kind of missing a couple punishes we would expect him to get under normal circumstances. That said, though, Ace of Flakes does manage to get that stock. Definitely closer than the last game. And he finally does get on the stage, but he retreats back off stage, and that is what ended that stock. The back air X marks its spot for Polish. Oh, but this might be it. And he's not able to convert. That could have been huge. Could have potentially tied the game up. Ace of Flakes is going to have to find another opening like that. If he can get this up, though, he might be able to tie it up. Or if he can possibly even get a back throw to start an edge guard attempt. But the pressure coming in from Polish is just relentless. Everything looking so safe and unpunishable. In the back air after back air after back air, Polish literally just with punishing in the shine off of the top. Stock number, I mean, game number two goes to Polish. Great stuff right there. You know, just kind of playing around Jigglypuff. Making it look like this matchup is not even by any means. Going straight back to Fountain of Dreams. Which was significantly closer than it was before. Uh, maybe he does realize the adjustments that he needs. And again, he just starts the match off with such a good start. But will it be enough this time? find out Polish oh my goodness that forward smash almost taking the stock Ace of Flakes doesn't make it back though but Polish just you know even though he lost that stock early he just immediately firing right back 76% already on Ace of Flakes he lose that stock so quickly but this might have been the kind of way Ace of Flakes needed if he can force Polish to approach him maybe a little recklessly maybe uh hate to say it, but run to the edge just for a little bit and regain your composure type of thing. Because right now, Polish is just kind of not really having respect for Jigglypuff's options, and he doesn't really have a reason to, but this might give him a reason to. Ace of Flakes up two stocks right now. Gonna lose stock right after, but still has that stock lead. And you know, Polish is put on notice now. He knows that Ace of Flakes can get these rest combos. He can, you know, end these stocks at a moment's notice, and he has to start, you know, mixing up his playstyle a bit, because clearly adjustments have been made by the Jigglypuff. Place getting that forward air trade. Trades generally are not good, but when you have a lead, they're not the end of the world. But you know, Ace of Flakes going to have to try to make it back. Oh, great tech right there! It wasn't enough though. Ace of Flakes was ready for the tech. Tried to get the air dodge. You know, he did everything he could, but just good job by Polish going down there, securing the kill, knowing that the initial spike was not enough. But the stock is gone again. Ace of Flakes is not ready to give up quite yet. 
He knows that he is down 2-0, but he's looking to make it 2-1 and potentially continue his uh, way in the Xanadu bracket for tonight. All right, Laser does come into play. Polish getting back air again. Not looking like he's um, really affected by these rests that have come into play this match. Still playing his game plan, and wow, at the wait and the call out by Polis. Crouch he crouched the crouch cancel when it didn't come through, just straight called out, got the F smash, good stuff. And you know, it's break or make time right now for Asian Flakes. If he loses this, he's indeed out of the bracket. Polish has some leeway. If he loses it, it's just a game. He has two more, two more chances at the worst, and he has a lead. So you know, Asian Flakes definitely going to have to slow down the play, find these openings, duplicate what he did the first and second stock, whether it's a rest, whether it's an edge guard. Time is of the essence. It's not looking good for at the moment. And you see Polish just keeping that state control, not committing with anything unsafe, you know, just kind of walling out with that back air, making it so difficult for Jigglypuff to come back. And every time Jigglypuff comes back, there's a wall of lasers and tilts immediately after, or a down air and shine to worry about. You know, at this point, if uh, Ace Place can get on the stick, oh, okay, and that does do it. Polish takes it 3-0 over Ace of Flakes. Phenomenal performance. And just, you know, showing he clearly understands that Jigglypuff matchup very, very well. And just, you know, the down airs, the shines, everything so spaced. Um, just beautiful play. You know, if you're looking, ha trying to figure out some uh, counterplay to Jigglypuff as a space animal, definitely would recommend watching that VOD. Um, I'm, if Fendi is still here, I'm going to try to grab him, get him to join you. Um, but I am going to be heading out. You can shoot me a follow. Um, on Twitter, PGBC underscore Logic. Let me know if you liked it, hate it. If you want me to stick to Smash 4, I got you. But um, I believe we're probably going to be playing some more commercials. And uh, we will catch you guys later. You'll see me probably on Tuesday or at the Arcadian.